Hello guys, welcome back to our channel CSE Concepts with Parinda. So guys, in today's video, we are going to learn a very important topic of compiler that is code optimization. We will see in detail what is code optimization. We will see what are the things to keep in mind while optimizing our code. Right, we will see the do's and don'ts. As well as we will see the different types of code optimization like global optimization and local optimization. We will see how they are different from each other, why they both are important and we will also see the techniques that are used to do local optimization as well as global optimization. Fine. We will cover all these things in this video very clearly. Before starting, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and if you find my videos helpful, please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section because these are the things that actually motivate me to make more and more contents for you. So first of all, let's see what is code optimization. So you can say that code optimization is a program transformation technique which tries to improve the intermediate code so that it can consume fewer resources, fewer resources like CPU, memory, etc. and result into faster running machine code. So what is the aim of code optimization? We want to do code optimization. That means what? We want to optimize our code such that it will consume fewer resources of CPU, memory, etc. So you can say that you want to um, like improve the time complexity and space complexity of the program. You want your program to take less time to execute. If you want your program to take less memory, in all those cases, you can optimize your code in such a way that it can work more efficiently and it will result into faster running machine code. Fine. So this is actually the aim behind optimizing the code. Now, what are the things to keep in mind while doing code optimization? So, there are certain things that you should keep in mind. These are the three main things. The first one is the optimization must be correct. It should not change the program's meaning. So, see, this is the first and foremost uh, idea behind uh, code optimization that we want to optimize our code right no doubt we want our we want to change our code in such a way that it is more efficient but we should always keep in mind that while optimizing the code your program meaning should not change the main aim of the program whatever the program was doing whatever output you used to get with the program those things should not change fine that means what we don't want to optimize the code uh, like at the cost of changing it fine we don't want to change our program we want our program to behave the same that it used to like the input the output of the program the main aim of the program they should remain the same but the program should work little more efficiently that's the aim behind the optimization so the first point is the optimization must be correct it should not change the program's meaning and the second point is optimization process should not delay overall compiling process. So it should not happen uh, like you are using any optimization process such that the optimization process or the optimization technique is so complicated that it is complicating your compiling process. It should not happen. So the optimization process should not delay your compiling process. That is also very important because at that time um, if your optimization process is delaying the overall compiling process what that means that instead of optimizing your code you're actually complicating it fine so this thing is also very important that optimization process should not delay overall compiling process the third one is optimization should result into faster execution lesser memory usage and better performance so this is also very important thing that the main aim behind code optimization is it should result into faster execution your code uh, the your new code see your new code there is an old code you are optimizing it and you are getting the new code so your new code should be faster in execution your new code should have should be taking less memory comparatively and it should be giving you better performance so these are the three main things faster execution lesser memory usage and the third one is better performance fine so these are the three main things that we want after code optimization now if we broadly 
uh, categorize this code optimization so the broad two categories of code optimization are local optimization and global optimization fine so you can do you can perform local optimization on your code as well as you can perform global optimization on your code now what is local optimization it is applied to small block of statements the local optimization is done prior to global optimization now you are having a big code right you are having many number of lines in your code now if you are picking up little code if you are uh, picking up small small block of statements like two statement three statement five statements if you are taking up small small block of statements and you are applying optimization to those small blocks it is known as local optimization and see this is a very important point that the local optimization is done prior to global optimization and that means what you are having let's say you are having 100 lines of code so instead of applying optimization to those 100 lines of code at a time what we can do is to work it more efficiently we can take the block of 5 5 lines we can apply local optimization to those lines and after applying local optimizations on small small code at the end we can take the whole new program and then we can apply the global optimization in that fine so local optimization is applied to small block of statements whereas if we talk about global optimization so global optimization is applied to large program statements like functions loops procedures etc got it so it is very important that global optimization is applied to large program statements like function loop procedure etc so if the question is being asked that if we are optimizing the functions if we are optimizing the loops procedures etc then which type of optimization is it it is global optimization fine if you are uh, applying optimization to any function to any procedure to any loop or to the whole program then we will call it as global optimization fine now if we talk about the technique then the techniques that are used for local optimization are variable or constant propagation variable propagation or constant propagation is used for local optimization also common sub expression elimination is one of the methods that is used to perform local optimization now constant propagation common sub expression elimination if you ask what uh, what are they then don't worry i am going to apply uh, i am going to upload the video on these uh, techniques also in very detail fine don't worry about that if you talk about global optimization then the different techniques that you can apply is control flow or data flow analysis control flow analysis or data flow analysis is one of the important technique that can be applied for performing global optimization on our code fine so these are the different techniques now in my next video i will be explaining code optimization techniques in very detail we will see control flow analysis data flow analysis constant propagation common sub expression elimination everything with example in very detail i will be explaining you but for now for this video i hope code optimization and local and global optimization is very clear to you in case you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section and if you found the video helpful please please share it with all your friends and classmates thank you so much